morning from France. So guys, I'm on my last day and I'm heading back to the UK of this short tour of Northern France. And I'm loading all the luggage back onto the bike. So I thought this would be a really good opportunity to show you guys my setup. So without further delay, let's get into it. So I know a few of you have been eager to see which panniers I decided to settle on. Well, these are the Krieger 28 litre saddlebag type panniers. Now, these are brilliant because for the week that I've been using them, they have a waterproof lining, as you can see, that's all the way to the bottom. The sides are padded, so things don't just come poking through. It's a very thick canvas material here on the front, totally waterproof. Uh, I have all kinds of gadgets in here, GoPro stuff, and not had a single issue, and it's been gray, rainy the whole week. So I feel like weather-wise, they've really held up. So you can really cram things in, and the stitching seems to be absolutely fine. The build quality of these so far seems to be really good and durable. Good fasteners. So then basically, as you can see, they just strap over the rear seat. I'll probably shove them a bit further back. I should point out actually, that I also ordered these panniers with, or saddlebags, let's call them, with the side rails. And this is a Triumph kit. I believe that these actually fit also onto the uh, T120, the Speed Twin. Um, yeah, so the different Triumphs, similar sort of frame to this, they will fit, but these saddlebags can really fit onto any bike, um, providing you've got the right setup. So if we just uh, jiggle that around a bit to get it nice and even, I think that's about there. So to fasten these, basically, you've got adjustment on this strap here. That allows you enough space to clip it in there. These are steel clips, so no chance of those failing anytime soon. And they basically hook underneath the rail uh, the strap comes around underneath the rail, fastens into the clip, and then you pull them down tight like that. Just like that. And then you also have a little Velcro fastener, which allows you to just basically tuck that away so they're not flapping around in the wind. So we'll do that to the other side as well. Whilst I'm um, talking about these, one thing you can see here is that I actually removed them last night to take into my hotel room so I didn't leave them on the bike. And they do have a really useful carrying strap located just here. And they are, there is some weight in these and they were quite comfortable to carry up and down to the room. I used the elevator um, to help out with that because uh, there's quite a lot of luggage. I don't really know how you guys go on really, but let me know. I mean, do you tend to leave luggage on your bike, take the chance, or do you uh, prefer to remove it just for peace of mind? So that's pretty much it. The panniers are locked on. And what I've noticed is when I've got everything strapped onto the bike, there's no movement back and forth. I did read online that someone said um, they had an issue where they may move back slightly, but I think they probably didn't have them tight enough. So again, you can just pull it in like that. These are already adjusted because I've already, already had them set up on the bike. So that's one useful thing actually, is that once you have these main seat straps set up, they just drop straight on. You never need to adjust them again and again, just the one time, and then just give them a quick check before each use. They also have a really useful carrying strap, which comes with a padded um, shoulder pad. Uh, if you wanna use one saddle, you can. It comes with an accessory. So it's just this one strap here uh, connecting to the under seat rail. 
that's if you only have one side rail, if that makes sense. So you can get away with just using one side, which for some people is enough for a touring setup. That extra space having two comes in really handy. Um, I haven't yet fitted the side strap because when I go out on the bike, I tend to use my backpack. So these will stay back at camp and I'll go off exploring with the, just the, the, uh, the day bag. So, panniers on. The next step is getting this North Face duffel bag. Now, any duffel bag will do. This is just one that I already had at home and I've had for the last few years. Um, I didn't buy it for biking purposes. This, I just basically purchased this uh, for a camping trip one, one year. Well, it's a really useful bag. It is waterproof and it's an ideal fit really for one person. I'd say if you, if you go in two up and you have this on a rear rack, well, this bag probably won't be the right size for me. You can get bigger ones. So again, I just pull all these in. Give it a nice, yeah, and that's another good thing about this bag. You want everything as compact and as tight as possible. And you know, where you have the option to pull down these straps to really give them a good, good pull. Get everything nice and tight. You can also tuck these tass um, tassels in, into the main straps here, and then just tuck them underneath the, uh, the actual bit. So, I have been positioning this bag sort of right at the very back. And what that does is it gives me enough room between the tank and this duffel bag to move around and just have, you know, riding comfort. So this setup goes to prove that you don't need a rear rack. They do come in handy and I, I may still get one when, when the time's right, but right now, I managed a full week of touring with this setup. So bear that in mind. Last thing, tent. So again, <laughs> this is my little three man Coleman tent. Other tents are available, <laughs> but this is one that uh, again, I, I've had for a while and it just, it just fitted the bill quite nicely. So that positions on there. And what you will notice as well, I have the bike on the side stand and yeah, <laughs> something doesn't quite feel very natural about all this weight being on the bike with it leaning, kind of, but the bike's been very stable up to now with it. So the next step after this is to use these straps. Now these are the rock straps I believe Oxford make them, but um, I will verify that and leave a link in the description below where you can find them. Now these are the one and a half meter length rock straps and the way I've been setting these up and it's, it's been good up to now is, now then, how was it? It was like, like that, yeah, I think so. so position them just through the end of the side rail there just like that okay one there and we want this uh, how do we want that we want that it's on the inside so usually double it back on itself basically you thread it through the loop so I have two um, bungee style straps The next straps, if I just move the camera around, and hopefully you'll see this. Not sure if that's okay, but basically what I do here is I, you have a stitched loop at that end, and I want that going over that way. So what I have been doing is a certain way which seems to work best. So, I thread this through the main rail of the bike, just for strength. 
at first I thought about putting it on this section, but then I thought, well, it's not really as robust as here. So I, I basically loop it around there like that, as you can see, throw it over the bike, get rid of that one, throw it over the bike like that. And I'll do the same on the other side. So we want it to come over there, like so. Right, and I'll just move the camera back around. So as you can see guys, the strap is just tied up around there. Move you back to here. I hope that's in the right position, I think it is. Right. So, I've got a little notch that I thread this through on the backpack. Okay. And then I thread this, thread this through the main center handle there basically just clip it in like so so um, we'll do the second one uh, where it is there it is uh, okay and I kind of have them crossing over each other seems to be the, the way that I can do it on this setup and again, pull that together. It is quite tight to, to, to get, but make sure they're both fully clicked in, which they are. Okay, how are we looking for center? I'd say we're all right there. All right, just uh, move that over a tiny bit. Okay. Once you've got them set up like this, you have a little loop tab and you can just get your finger through it and pull it and as you can see this extends I think technically speaking you'll get about double length on this if you really wanted to but uh, I find that just giving it a couple of a couple of goes like that and you end up with about five six inches or something like that left over and then you tuck that underneath the um, underneath there if you can get it under just to stop it moving around and then same again with this one if I come around here same again give it a good pull like that another go there we go Tuck it underneath, or perhaps it might be better that way. Tuck it under there, that's better. So, that's basically the setup. Obviously, I have my backpack on me while I'm riding, but this is how it looks. Now, I've had this set up now for about well, since Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, around four or five days, and it's not budged an inch. It really hasn't. So, if, if you're in the market for a pannier saddlebag setup, and you perhaps don't have the hundreds and hundreds of pounds to buy the solid ones uh, with the rear rack, lockable panniers, which, you know, I still would love some, these are a next best option, I suppose. Now, price. I bought these panniers online for, was it 200? Was it 270? 270 pounds for the two saddlebags and the side rail. Then the rock straps, they cost 
around 25, 26 pounds for the one and a half meter length straps and pretty much you're ready to go at that point. So there we go, there's my quick, I guess, rundown of the panniers. Um, there's a shot of the back at the rear. This one still needs adjusting because I'm currently holding the uh, tripod which needs to go in this, this saddle bag here. So I'll close that up properly. But as you can see, it's quite a compact setup. So let me know what you think. Um, these still are available. There is a larger capacity saddle bag. Uh, correct me, I think they're around the 30 litres, 35 litres, something like that. Um, but these ones have been fine. So for, for one person anyway. Uh, I suppose it all depends how long your trip is really. But uh, yeah, there we go guys. I think I'll wrap this video up there then and uh, let me know what you think in the comments. And if you have any questions, leave me a comment below and uh, I'll get back to you. Cheers. Thank you.